Uh, yeah, well, anyway, so, what do we say? Um, all right, let me just throw it out in the air and see what happens. Let me throw it out in the air. Let me, like, you're trying to formalize it, but at the same time, it's not formalized. <sighs> all right, so what do you mean by throw it in the air? Just, it's a vlog, right? Yeah. So, does that mean that you can just basically, well, I'll have to have a cohesive vlog. Okay. But this whole vlog is already going to parachute from day one. Oh. Do you want to do another retake? Fine. All right. Let's start over again. Oh, brother. All right. Today's vlog is basically, I can't make up my fucking mind what to talk about because, frankly, I don't really have much to talk about. Here I am sitting in the studio because I had to meet with my keys manager this morning. We met here to take care of some business. And, um, so then once I came back from doing business this morning, I went to the soup kitchen and it was, it was quiche again. I, can't, I don't like quiche that much. I will eat it, but it's not my favorite, Okay. Um, the weather outside is overcast. It's 18 degrees Celsius. And tomorrow will be hot again, about 25 degrees Celsius. And, um, I, I you know, um, I'm, I'm so, sometimes it's really hard to come up with a good vlog. You guys think it's because you see me as a talking head. Um, I don't know anything about the individuals that watch these videos. I know nothing about you, okay? But um, I can tell you that the two people that actively participated on the Sunday night were nice people. Um, at least they were treating me decently. Three. Oh, three. Because it was a third person, but they didn't stay around long. No, they didn't. I, I, um, no, they did not. Okay. So, sometimes, let's talk about that. You know, you guys see, um, you guys always see the professional Apollo blogs and when they're all perfect and they're all, you know, like everybody's got the ducks in a row and they're all great and they're all Apollos and, you know, your on-screen talents got the, the script in front of them and, and they're doing ad copy and it looks great. But when you guys actually see us in our own unscripted mode, um, it's different. I not I never have a script. I never do. I do have a, I have boilerplate I start out with to answer to Abby's question. What is it I say when I first start the video? Hail and Mary meet to everybody. And he says, so like, hail, Mary me. No, I'm not Mary. Well, I don't feel Mary at all. I feel kind of agitated right now, actually. But I try to put a positive spin on it so it looks like everything's okay because that's what I have to do. And that's sometimes that makes it hard because sometimes I just want to basically throw a temper tantrum. I've done that a few times on camera, I'm not going to lie. But this, uh, you know, there's times I just want to vent, but I'm so afraid of losing you, losing the subscribers, losing you because of a lack of professional voice. I have to tell you, I don't always feel so professional. Sometimes I feel like a seven-year-old. I want to just throw a temper tantrum. I mean, I, we come out here and we do this video every day. I mean, every day I come out here. I love doing them. But unfortunately, I feel like I'm not reaching out far enough to the people I'm trying to reach. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I, 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 I'm putting a lot of work into these. And this is the first time in a couple of weeks I've actually came in here and I was able to do a video with the lights on in here in the studio. But the thing is, is sometimes I feel like I'm not reaching you. Uh, and I don't know why, but there's something wrong with that. It's like I feel like if I could just reach a little further. It's just like I'm going to my head. If I could just see a little further. If I could just hear a little better. If I could just do more. Maybe 
just maybe somehow some magic event will happen that makes it all come together. But unfortunately, that's not the way it is in the real world. It never is that way. I come out here and I do my best to be professional and come in and 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 organize things and and. and but, well, at the same time, I'm putting this veneer on. It's just like wearing those so-called perfect smile teeth that everybody ever used instead of horrible. They're just a veneer. Like the same veneer cladding that caused that big fire at the Grotwell Tower in London. The same kind of bullshit. It makes it look nice, but unfortunately, in reality, it doesn't cover the fact that Aeneas is a drab, ugly... Sitting in a black building. It's just a, you know, it just looks nice. It doesn't make, it just, it, 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 it's, it's a facade. That's what it means, facade. Okay? It's not real. But when you get to see the real me, when you get to know me as a person, the real me, I'm always trying my best to put on a good expression. I'm always trying to put on a happy smile. But the sad truth is I'm getting frustrated because, not just because of the YouTube channel, but the fact of the matter is and as I feel like I'm trapped because I can't do a certain thing or I can't get, you know, people to understand what I'm really feeling. Let me tell you how I feel. I feel like crap. Sorry, it's true. I feel like emotional crap. Because every time I put all this work in, and and some of you, of course, I know I get a lot of passive audience. That's not uncommon. A lot of channels do. We have passive audience. They come out and they watch the videos while they're eating their Doritos or their Twinkies or ramen soup or whatever. Okay, and then we don't really hear from them. We hardly ever hear from them. But the few we hear from. Unfortunately, I have run into a few that have not been so nice. And they expect us, uh, not just me, all the YouTube content providers to sometimes come up with some whimsical, fantastic way to reach you. I don't know what you guys want. I asked you over and over again, could you tell me? What would you like to see? That I can do that's not going to be life threatening or cause injuries or hurt people's feelings or whatever. I really want to know. And, you know, we, we all, all of us, I mean, literally every single YouTube content creator has got, of course, their own personal lives that we, you know, have to deal with in the background. Some of us are more open about it on the air than others. I happen to talk about my life stories. But you can probably see this. Michelle, your life is trite. Your life is banal. It's boring. Nobody gives a flying fart about, you know, when your cat was hurt or you're, you know, you're behind in your bills. We want to see, like, if you watch photo introduction, we like to see shit blow up. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not going to blow shit up, okay? Uh, for so I have no shit to blow up. Well, I got a shit. It comes out of my anus. But I don't think it's combustible until it's dry. And I'm not going to save my shit. I ain't going to explode. So, I mean, maybe if I mix it with some propane or something or gasoline, maybe I, once it's dry out, I'm go ahead Put an M80 firecracker inside, light it, all of a sudden you see shit flying everywhere. Is that what you want? Probably not. It's not professional. Not professional. Sometimes that terminology bothers me. Not professional. What is professional? Profession is something you do for a living. That's this channel. This is all I got. You know, I come out here because it's all I... I like doing them. I like being professional. I let you into my life. I let you into my home. I let you into my heart. I give you a lot of material about me. <laughs> you know more about me than, of course, I know about any of you. I don't. 
try to judge my audience because I don't know you. I want to. I've had me. I tried to have meetups before, and nobody came to. Um, and that's hard because, um, yeah, you know, you talk about you saying these videos are too long. Sometimes they run long, okay, and they do, and I'm sorry, okay. I'm going to be running these scissors on this one quite a bit because by the time I'm done with this, uh, you know, hell, I, I'm doing everything I can um, to make a good content. So what I would like from you is, yes, I would like to hear from you. And the first question I want to know is, what do you want to see in these videos? What kinds of things are you looking for? Okay, that's easy enough. What kind of things are you looking for? Um, yes, this is a vlog. Yet, I have to edit this out on Final Cut Express because it's got a lot of, um, parts that I'm going to have to trim up. Well, let's just put it up raw so they can see the real behind the scenes stuff of what happens. I mean, the, like you said, the people don't really know you. They don't know anything about you. I mean, they know more about you in some ways, but they don't know much about your background, about your back, what goes on behind the scenes. <sighs> Do you think anybody would watch this? Yes, I think some would. It's time to take off. Just like in Gruffalo Towers, it's time to take off the goddamn cladding and let them see the real humanity behind the facade. It's time to take off the cladding on the aluminium siding and show the real Michelle Marie Delaney and what really goes on in your heart. Because people have got, you know, like this stuff. That's something I don't understand. Well, why would they like to see this? Because they do. I know it sounds stupid, but they like things unscripted. But they also like videos less than 10 minutes long. Yeah. So how can you have both? You want me to expose everything? Just be a little, put this video raw, takes, retakes included. Say, okay guys, here it is. Boom! Raw! Unedited! Now, you guys get to see who I am, what goes on behind the scenes. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Fine. You put behind the scenes. Let you guys see it all. But then again, watch my subscriber base go through the floor. Look, Michelle, I don't know if it's going to go through the floor. You don't know if it's going to go up! I don't know if it's going to go up either. No. <sighs> So why are you so agitated anyway? Um, I'm agitated because I feel like I'm trapped. Okay? Well, let me explain this for some of you who are unaware of what's going on behind the scenes. I want to do more than just be a talking head. I want to go out there and explore new things. But I have no resources to do that because I'm on a fixed income because I am disabled. And so because I'm disabled and I have no driver's license, I feel like I'm locked in, as Donald Trump would call it, on the Democrats, urban plantation, stuck in a rut, not able to get out and, not, and to do things. I want, I'm 49 years old, okay? I work, I work on these videos really hard, and you know I do, okay? But I wanted to go to Sea Barrel, Alaska. I want to go to Fairbanks. I want to go to North Pole, Alaska, and see that, okay? I might even want to go to other countries someday, okay? I might want to go to UK, England, and um, which includes England and Scotland, and I don't know, maybe Wales, but I'm not really so familiar with Wales, Okay? But the thing is, is I find myself in between a rock and a hard place because I have no funding to do that. So I'm trying 
to make deal with that. And the fact that I have equipment that is basically getting old. Okay, now I mentioned that which I was looking forward to the YouTube channel grants to help bail me out. Well, YouTube channel grants, <sighs> well, that was a waste. That was a fucking waste, okay? And I'm not going to lie. I really, um, ugh. It just, it just, you know, disgusts me that I can't even find a way to make, find what is it going to take to finally break through that goddamn glass ceiling over my head, the one I've been wanting to go through to see it expand and find myself constantly facing the hardest, most bitter reality, which is I'm not making money. I mean, I'm operating barely above a loss, okay? Barely. And I'm, uh... I, I think they get it. You're right. It sucks. It sucks! Because I can't do any more than I'm doing. And it frustrates me because I really want to go far. Why? But I have to admit, when it comes to certain video techniques, I don't have enough Photoshop skills and animation skills to create fancy backgrounds and title screens. And I just, just, they don't have that kind of skill, okay? There are people who have skills like that. They do a great job and, and others like me made that simple intro that you see when you were watching the BKS. That was actually basically me uh, based on um, <clears throat> something from Life Type as a uh, background, and then I added my information to it. And um, and it came out pretty good. And then, uh, the, the, of course, that was silent at the time. So then I added a simple, using um, iMovie 6, I went ahead and I added in the tones that you hear uh, based on samples from the um, um, iLife sound uh, clips. So that was how that came into being in existence. And it came out pretty good. You know. But um, that's probably the most advanced title I ever did. And I, unfortunately I, 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 I kind of threw out the original raw material files to make it. So I can't really edit it unless I want to make it from scratch. Not that I couldn't make it from scratch. I'll be honest, guys, it could use some work. Okay, it's not perfect. Um, but uh, oh well. Um, that's life. Do you think you're gonna have another live stream in a couple of days? I don't know. Uh, I have no idea. I don't know because, you know. No one has said to me one way or the other if they were interested in that. So, I mean, uh, as I said, we had a good time with it. I I didn't have a problem with it. And uh, unfortunately, Loom, I am going to have to edit this down somewhat because of the reasons that, you know, the things in this that are kind of being repeated. And I think... Um, well, okay. All right, so, um, for now, I guess that's it. There's, there's not much more to say. I uh, will see you tomorrow. Hopefully tomorrow I'll come up with some more exciting news and we'll be able to, to cover that. Okay? See you later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.